Hi, I'm Kevin Philgrove, principal of Cedar Cliff High School. The Cedar Cliff Chamber Singers have been selected to participate in the Heinz Chapel Chamber Choir Festival at the University of Pittsburgh. Only three high school choirs are invited to this prestigious invitation-only festival, now celebrating its 20th anniversary. We are proud of our excellent choir. Go Colts! Thank you, Mr. Phil Grove, for coming to Studio A and sharing some great things about your high school. Now, if you're interested in keeping up with our sponsor or keeping up with our show and our leaderboard, please go to WGAL.com slash BrainBusters. Plus, you can email me with any questions or comments about the show. All right, let's get back into this game. It's time now for today's bonus Brain Buster. As you can see, Cedar Cliff has a commanding lead, but everything can change right now. During our break, our teams wagered from 0 to 50 points based on their knowledge of the Vietnam War. Now, Lori Burkhalter in this newsroom is standing by with today's question. Lori? Thanks, Rich. Okay, here's your bonus brain buster question. In 1995, he admitted that he was wrong, terribly wrong, to push the United States into the Vietnam War. Who was Secretary of Defense in both the Kennedy and Johnson administrations? Again, the question, he, in 1995, admitted that he was wrong, terribly wrong, to push the United States into the Vietnam War. Who was the Secretary of Defense in both the Kennedy and Johnson administrations? Good luck. Back to you, Rich. Thanks, Lori. Good luck, teams. We'll give you about five seconds. Okay, time is up now. Has everybody finished writing close with pens now? Hopefully you've been watching the news because he did just die at the age of 93 in July. Okay, Christian, it's up to you. No, Ho Chi Minh. <laughs> I'm sorry, an interesting guess. 30 points, good wager, taking you down to 130. A good strategic wager. McNamara. It's Robert McNamara. You are absolutely oh. correct. 30 points added to your score, 290. You have a strong lead. Well, let's see what happens as we now play today's final frenzy. 20 point questions. He died from eating contaminated food in 1850. Which president served less than two years in office before Andrew? William Henry Harrison. No, sorry. That's it. Before <laughs> Millard Fillmore, Mannheim Central. Ooh, oh, donkey. James Buchanan. No, it was Zachary Taylor. Oh. Technically, it isn't part of Canada. It still hasn't signed the new Canadian Constitution passed in 1982. Nova Scotia. Alex. Nova Scotia is incorrect. I'm sorry. What is this French-speaking province, man? I've central donkey. Quebec. Quebec is absolutely correct. It's approximately equal to 1 and 5 twelves or 17 twelves. What is this irrational number? Becca. Pi. No, sorry. Alex. E. No, it's the square root of two. Its members meet at Kingdom Hall and distribute the Watchtower. What religious group was founded by Charles Taze Russell in 1872? Amanda. Jehovah's Witness. You are correct for 20 points. The Bodleian, the Huntington, and the Folger are all famous ones. What kind of repositories are they? Alex. Library. They are all libraries, yes. Developed in the 15th century, it can be used to show the relative size of objects as they recede from the plane of the picture towards a theoretical vanishing point on the horizon. What is this artistic technique? Christian. Perspective. Perspective is correct. He is raised by his widowed mother until he bites his stepfather, Mr. Murdstone, and is sent to a boarding school run by Mr. Creekle. That's Andrew. Oliver Twist. Uh, no, sorry, that's incorrect. Who is this Dickens youth junkie? Uh, David Copperfield. He's the one, yes. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the sun and the earth. During a solar eclipse, the outer atmosphere of the sun becomes visible. What is it called, Alex? Corona. The corona, yes. In the first decade of the 20th century, Lincoln Stevens, Ida Harbaugh and Upton Sinclair exposed corruption in American business and politics. What unflattering nickname, Andrew? Chicago. No, sorry. <laughs> what unflattering nickname did Theodore Roosevelt give them, man? I'm Central Jockey. Muckrakers. Muckrakers, you're correct again. Objects in motion are often a subject of physics. What name is given to the random motion of tiny particles in a fluid? Entropy. Alex. No, sorry, that's incorrect. Mannheim Central. It's called the Brownian motion. In 1986, she was called the first teacher in space when she was chosen to be the first junkie. Sally Ride. No, sorry. When she was the first private citizen on a space shuttle. Who died in the explosion of the Challenger? Uh, it was Christoph McAuliffe. Used to measure the wavelength of light, it's equal to 10 to the negative 10th meters. Nanometers? Uh, no, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Well, who is this unit of length named for a Swedish physicist? Uh, it's called the angstrom. 
Literature and science have little in common, but they do share some terms. In medicine, this small organ can burst when infected. In literature, I it's agree. the material added at the end of the book. Of course, it was the appendix, not in time, Jack. Well, that's how it takes us to the end of the round, to the end of the game. It looks like Cedar Cliff was triumphant. We'll have some final words, just a moment or two. Congratulations, Cedar Cliff. They performed admirably and will return later on in our tournament to challenge Carlisle. Now, at the end of our tournament, Westfield Insurance, our corporate sponsor, will give away grants totaling over $15,000 to the top performing Brain Busters team. Now, on the next Westfield Insurance Brain Busters, it's Cocalico versus Northern. We hope to have the pleasure of your company as well. So long. Pennsylvania Newsmakers, the state's premier politics and public policy talk show, is hosted by Pennsylvania's leading political commentator, Terry Madonna. Join me every Sunday at 11 a.m. on WGAL with the leaders that affect your world. Pennsylvania Newsmakers is sponsored by the Pennsylvania Cyber Charter School and the state system of higher education. Alex and her family at odds. Coverage you can count on continues with a 24-hour news update from News 8. Breezy and mild today on this Halloween. Doesn't feel like it out there. Temperatures will get up to near 70 degrees for a high, and some showers will start to move through in the afternoon. Along a cold front, we get up to around 70 degrees, but then it turns colder tonight down into the 40s. Don't forget to change your clock back.